Okay, let's do this. Um. It's currently 11 set. 11.18 Um, yeah, I know I woke up around 8 something Past 8 And yes, this is how slow of a person I am, okay? I'm just kind of like a take my time kind of person, you know? I don't want to rush things Because I don't really like being rushed Because I have this like mindset wherein if everything is rushed Then you cannot produce quality output you know it can be efficient in a way but i'm we may lose that quality output you feel me so okay what was my experience with listening to our podcast like in general um i feel like as i am growing older i start to mature here and there I start to realize things here and there i start to evolve so i think I think I can be in the zone of listening to our podcast in general. Now, what podcast do I have in mind? Well, I currently o I only have my eyes on Emma Chamberlain's Anything Goes podcast. I mean, that's what got me into having just the urge or interest to even listen or try to listen to a podcast. So most likely, I will just listen to Anything Goes by Emma Chamberlain. I don't know how many episodes she has already put out, but the first episode was released in 2020. Anyways, all right, I really enjoyed the first episode. I didn't put in that much clips because I just wanted to still feel the moment, you know? Because when I try to record, it's, it feels like I need to like document something and then I need to kind of like make a segment, you know? So there's this thinking of you need to kind of like work. It's not essentially work, but it's just like you're starting to have a shift in focus, you know? And that kind of takes out the enjoyment of listening to our podcast that's why i didn't really record as much because i just want to run it down in the background and just listen to the podcast now i really like the topic uh just like because the title of her of her pilot episode is minding your own business and she segue it with a topic on gossips and dramas which i feel like this cannot be a total coincidence because recently in my life i'm kind of like i can relate to that i can relate to the first episode with all of her experience with drama and negative energy and how it is degrading to her own health you know something like that but i didn't exactly went through that kind of phase it's just like i've already i'm experiencing her advice you know because i never i generally did not um experience like having detrimental effects of like gossiping or like stalking somebody or just wanted just want to be in the know of all of the dramas that i do not need to give my time and attention and exert effort and energy to it you know i haven't experienced that but i do experience already experience her her advices that she was giving such as like you don't need the drama unless you are affected by the drama you do not need to always be in the known and you do not need to surround yourself with this and that you know th because that's that's just who i am that's why i told you that i already experienced her advices because that's who I am. I choose to not surround myself with drama. I choose to maintain my peace and my sanity. And I feel like that's what I've been doing for the past year. I'm already in college, okay? I'm already in college and I hope I do not run out of space here. I'm on my second year this coming September. That's why I told you I'm on a three month long hiatus. <laughs> That's just how it is. It, our school is crazy. But yeah, it's just like for my first year experience, it's just like I'm so, so focused on just myself, focused on my academic life, focused on my own family, focused on only to those closest people in my life, you know? Yeah, I've been so kind of like closed doors. That's why I have this kind of like unbothered 
quality, you know? Like, with all the drama that my classmates went through through first year, I never, ever experienced any of the drama. And I feel like it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing, you know? Because not that I have the thinking of like, oh, I wish I could have been in a drama. Oh, I wish I could have known that. I wish I could have experienced this. Actually, no. I'm actually more grateful more than ever to just stay at peace, keep my sanity, do the things that I love and just focus on the things that I prioritize in my life. So it's a really wonderful decision that I made and it did build my character, it did build my persona, it did build who I am even more, furthermore, in a good way. And that is something I will never ever regret. That is one of the best decisions that I made in my life. But I feel like the only caveat on that and like the cons and like the, I'd say, the thing that I missed out on on that decision is that I missed out on a whole year of social interaction. I missed out a whole year of not knowing my classmates because I've come to a point just recently wherein I've absolutely spent time with them. So I've got a glimpse of that and I was like, oh my god, I missed out a whole year of this? But still, there's still no regret in my heart. It's just like a realization that I realized. <laughs> So yeah, I will choose to open my doors now. I will choose to interact with them. I will choose to be active. I will choose to get to know them better because I have that feeling, you know, that I missed out a whole year because I was just so focused within myself. I'm so focused with, you know, the priorities in my life that I essentially kind of like cut back a part of me because there's a part of me that I can be a like this thing called social butterfly, you know, I can really I can really be that person but for the first full year of my college life I choose to hide that I choose to shut that persona that trait of me this was have been going on in my mind right now so that's why I can really relate to the first episode you know because there is actually an issue on my class that I didn't really know of but that's just like also fine by me that I didn't that I missed out on that issue I didn't get to be on the drama side of the things I didn't it didn't really make my life so complicated it my life wasn't a pain in the ass and I'm just so grateful that I maintained the peace as what Emma Chamberlain said you don't have to surround yourself with very dramatic and toxic people with all of the negative energy but right now I got the information now that would be such an eye-opener and such a realizing moment for me in my personal life so knowing that now I have this interest I feel like that is the fuel that I needed to be motivated in my college life I will give you straight to it the environment it's not really that motivating it's not very interesting so I feel like with the information with the gossip with the drama with the issue that I heard you know it's not like I wanted to be in but I feel like knowing that you know and having the realization that I miss out a whole year a whole year of connection a whole year of opportunities a whole year of opportunity to get to get to know them all you know those two things are the fuel to probably keep me going back on the motivation thingy and having the, the thrive to live out socially because I'm such a hermit for a whole year you know that I'm just only expressing like my whole self my whole creative self my whole persona into just myself and into my four corners of the room now I'm more than ever motivated academically and socially more interested into the things that my school has to offer and it's just I'm I'm so open now I mean not to the like super close doors and that I'm so open now that I will sh literally share everything no Emma what Emma actually said too that you should not overshare yourself and you should not try to gossip about yourself that's what that's why I got really so into the first episode and got really so connected because of how relevant and how kind of coincidental her topic is it's just like it's Timing is everything. And the timing of me discovering her podcast could never been any more better. <laughs> I'm also now so open with my YouTube thing. I always try to find a way on how to bring out this kind of like personality, this kind of energy into my YouTube videos. I kind of struggled on how 
to present this. The only issue is because I don't know the timing, I don't know when is right, I don't know how to accommodate the large file size because I know if I try to bring out this kind of like segment into my life, I will be recording for long periods of time and which I cannot afford to do in the meantime. But now, yes, I'm starting to open up. I mean, not like be vulnerable, it's just more of like I'm starting to let in you guys, you know, and let in other people to see more of my real 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 character and who am I as a human being what I can say to you guys if you're someone like me who can be very very reflective who can just be serious you know and if you're the kind of person who who've reached the maturity stage maturing stage you can vibe with me you can vibe with the podcast here <laughs> this is like my whole personality you know this is who I am and I'm so proud of myself that I can at least express this now on video. Yeah, I hope after watching this video, you find something new. From the past videos that I'm uploading, I tend to look very sarcastic, but probably from this moment on forward, you will start to see a better glimpse of who I am. As much as I want to directly say, this is who I am, this is who I am. There's just a lot of things going on on my mind right now that I cannot like comprehend and I cannot like consolidate it already in this moment so try to be observant with how I talk with my personality with the way I deliver my message and with the with the thoughts I'm trying to share try to be observant and just you know conclude for yourself so yeah anything goes by Emma Chamberlain 10 out of 10 I recommend it especially if you're the kind of person who can be really deep and serious and very reflective in life this is great you should listen to it okay so listen um anything goes by emma chamberlain this is free publicity for her try, try it out try to listen you know listen to the whole podcast feel what you feel you know be real with the realities of the world especially with the realities of you as a human being so grab your favorite device to listen onto a podcast and get your Starbucks ready, okay? Because this is what you this is what you all need if you're the type of person who wants to reflect. Oh, that is a private message that I will blur out when I edit this video. So yeah, you feel me? My dudes, this is all you need. All you need is a great ass podcast and some Starbucks. So See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Everything is falling into place. I don't really care if I, no one really watches my videos anymore, but it's just the joy and the hobby that I'm doing right now. So uh, yeah, see you in the next video, guys. I'll see you in my next TED talk. <laughs> and peace out, y'all. As I always say, peace out, y'all. <laughs> the Starbucks is all you need. Starbucks is all you need, my dudes. <laughs> Oh!